We're going to talk about two people who did not perform. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and it's coming off a bit of drama, and I guess this is the split between millennial and then... J- what does J-Lo consider? Older? Anyways. j 50. <laughs> right. <laughs> she don't look like So, it, <laughs> Grammy producer Ken Ehrlich is kind of under fire, and this may start to turn a trend in how performers are able to kind of advocate for themselves. Mm-hmm. So, Ariana Grande went... Um, that's what you wanted to hear about? Y- yes. So, um, a couple of days before, Ariana, Ariana Grande came out and said that Ken was lying about why she couldn't perform and she ended up boycotting it in a sense and not performing. And from the producer's side, it was, we wanted you to perform a song that you're comfortable with and, and you just wanted to perform something that you didn't, you know, have already ready, which is Thank You Next, the banger that everyone loves. Yeah, the number one song in the country, they said, right. And she called him out for lying and saying that she did actually have more songs, you know, in the arsenal and that he knows that she can turn around and do a performance immediately. That happened, and you know, fans supported Ariana. Well, Nicki Minaj is saying that she also had an issue with the same producer, and it's under, I guess, him silencing her to speak out out of fear for the last seven years on why she hasn't won a Grammy. So, what's his name? Ken Ehrlich. Okay, as you say, I'm so, so almost like again back to my question: Who was in the room when we decided to put J Lo up for the Motown tribute? Amongst other things. Sure. He, w- he was in the room. Um, but yeah. So she's being silenced and she just kind of, he hasn't made a statement about her um, in regards to Ariana Grande. He spoke out to the Associated Press saying that, no, you you, didn't, you only provided one song, you know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Nicki Minaj is saying that on her next episode of Queen Radio, she will be releasing the truth about her Grammy experience. Wow. Is Nicki boycotting the Grammys as well? Mm. I'm not certain if she's like necessarily like boycotting it, but mm-hmm. she definitely has an issue, and I wouldn't be surprised if she's just not allowed mm. there. But she wasn't there today, was she? I mean, mm-hmm. today, Sunday. Was yeah, she? they both were yeah, we out. Definitely saw her. She was there. Yeah, it was all about Cardi, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It was, yeah. All, it was all about Cardi.